Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, um, this is kind of funny. I know I didn't want to do this like bedroom type vlog. Um, but yeah, welcome, welcome. So pretty much we're just gonna go over like pretty much just, I guess the story time. So pretty much um, dancing, um, emotes, and future content ideas uh, for the channel. So um, yeah, I know a lot of people were like pleasantly, pleasantly surprised when they learn about me knowing how to dance and like people are like it's funny to see like people's reactions like yo like i'm pretty shocked that you, you know how to do like know the skills so i'm definitely gonna discuss that so where to begin um pretty much my background is um seven and a half years of dancing in a like studio and yeah so it's it's very funny when they like look at people's reactions when they see like videos of me um knowing how to dance and yeah so um i don't know i just break down the art form which is i love looking at it when you break down like the musicality the movements the timing it's um breathtaking it's super duper awesome and it's funny when i see people they're like yeah well dancing dancing is really really easy but i feel like they were very far from the truth when it comes to that and uh in my opinion i think dancing is a sport because you can um you can compete anywhere um you refine your craft and uh you just Every time you're just, you know, practicing just to get better. And, um, like, you can be on a team, um, you can do a solo. There's so many different um, styles you can learn from. You can learn techniques, you, um, you learn um, the names or the history be behind it or, like, the movements, where did this come from, or it really depends. There's so many aspects when it comes to dancing. So, the reason why I got into it is um, when I was a little kid, um, I was watching my little sisters um, dance, um, and pretty much I was doing baseball, doing recreational sports like baseball, soccer, stuff like that, and so that's how I got into dancing. And I'm happy that I'm a part of it. Like you know, the just I look at it, like, my perception's a lot different than most people. Um, when I look at somebody dancing, I'm like, man, how much time did it go into doing that? And the reason why I don't do it as much um, because some of my moves can get repetitive, and the reason why I don't show everybody the whole world like all my repetitive moves there's so many there's so many different movements that i've learned that are like you know for certain certain situations that are a lot different so it really depends on what you do um when it comes to hip-hop um you just want to be authentic especially every you know every style of dance was you know ballet jazz lyrical um any of that um you just want to be authentic you want to be true yourself for me just being transparent like i just don't want to be repetitive on the camera or when it comes to streaming, the reason why I don't do it on stream, I've done it once and I learned a lot from you know doing a dance stream is because um, one, pace yourself. I definitely pace myself. I was planning to do like an eight hour stream and I cut it down to a four hour stream and um, just spacing and just like camera angle. That's the reason why I don't do it much in stream. Did it one time, it was just like we reached a certain goal and yeah, I definitely had fun with it and people were able to request songs for me to dance to, it was pretty cool. The only reason, reason why I haven't done it or why I may do it, you know, in the future is like I would love to reach like maybe like a sub goal, like a money goal, or you know have better equipment to you know do it do it on. So until then, I may do that until that happens, or maybe you know once I move out, get better equipment that may be the way to um, to more of that IRL type style of you know want to be dancing, doing being authentic with it. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to the dancing aspect. Um, I would love to put out more content when it comes to like dancing stuff, like, but like when it comes to like creating um, or learning a new dance, and definitely my things that I'm worried about is like musicality. You know, me like on time, or is it like the the vibe that I want to you know strive for in a song? You know, be able to listen to it and you know the timing. Um, creating the dance and choreography. Um, sometimes I think I'm like so I'm so hard on myself when it comes to choreography aspects. So that's why I haven't put much content on YouTube or Instagram. But I still have some you know older content on Instagram that people can digest and look at that. And be like, hey. But um, I don't know, man. I'm just so hard on myself. I think that's just me being a perfectionist sometimes. Um, as much as when I get older every year, I feel like I'm less less perfectionist. I just like you know go out and do it. Just have fun. I think that's one thing that I forget to do sometimes when it comes to dancing. I just, I gotta learn how to have fun. So, I mean, so hopefully I can get back into that rhythm of putting out for content for you guys, for, especially as dancing was. But um, I'm loving this YouTube thing, like especially putting out a video out a day, whether it's a podcast or just a video 
vlog, whether it's going to be outside. I do need to get more outside my comfort zone, but this was something on the fly that I thought of. So I was just like a little bit more depth into who is Andrew, who is Andrew Taylor. And uh, yeah, as far as emotes go, um, I narrowed it down for Twitch. I narrowed it down to three emotes. It's going to be uh, Fortnite related. It's going to be Nagops, um, Snorkel Ops, and it's going to be the Scarf Defender. It's going to be three different emotes. One emote for the Nagops is going to be holding like a snow heart. So that's going to be pretty dope. Um, the snorkel ops can be drinking some water. So pretty much like maybe a hydrate, a hydrate emo. And then lastly, like my third one will be the Scarlet Defender. My one concept that I wanted, I wanted to be like flying, like riding a flying Nimbus, like in Dragon Ball Z. But um, the person that's creating my emotes, he said, you know, that may be a little too hard. So if you have any backup ideas, my other backup idea would be having the Scarlet Defender, like holding like a lantern, like a Chinese, like New Year lantern. That'd be pretty cool. And if that, you know, that's pretty much what I narrowed it down to three. So those might be, um, so the snorkel and the, um, gonna be the Nagops. So it's gonna be probably my, my, uh, two tier one emotes. Cause I have like two slots open. And then my Scarlet Defender might be my tier two. As far as if like we grow as more as a channel on Twitch, I may, you know, have a, you know, tier three. But as far as right now, looking at my, you know, analytics and stats, people just want to just do the tier one. And occasionally the tier two on that, so yeah, be on the lookout for that, um, especially for next week. And I'll definitely show you guys some sketches um, that I could share that um, my emote artist is going to work on. But he's very busy, so um, be on the lookout for that. As far as like Fortnite related content, whether it's clips, montages, I just need clips. I need video ideas on that and stuff like that. So if you guys are watching me live on Twitch, the best thing you can do to um, to help me out when it comes to making videos is to clip like a favorite moment of yours that you see, you like a funny moment or a good moment when I'm playing good, maybe it's a funny moment that you see, um, clip that and I can definitely edit it and work on that um, and refine it. Or if you have any video ideas, be able to like comment below on the description, be like, yo, you should work on this, you should um, do this certain video idea and that can help me a lot, a lot, a lot. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it. So um, thank you guys for continuing to watch this. Um, I didn't think this daily content would work out pretty well, but yeah, I'm just gonna be, you know, working out some more content, especially for Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, more blog stuff, and getting more into my creative space. So the one thing I'm gonna do, um, I had like a transcript of what I was gonna be working on for this video, but it was kind of rushed, and plus I wanted to do it on the fly. And so if you guys are interested more in my thought process, I'm gonna post like a whole transcript of what I meant to say, and you're like, if I missed what he said, I'm just gonna post like a like a blog link of everything if you missed like a recap and a little bit more than what I said and more in depth uh, for you especially when it comes to dancing aspect um, the emotes that I've you know been uh, trying to collaborate with you know especially of course I'm gonna pay the guy that I'm um, working on my emotes and then um, especially the Fortnite content ideas and video concepts so thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys later peace